Hi everyone, it's Wendy, back again making some ephemera for our journals, uh, our botanical journal. I have um, been asked to revisit sort of um, a uh, envelope flip. Uh, thank you, Becky, for making that recommendation or suggestions. Uh, so I thought I would use a little bit smaller envelope. Um, these are, I think, six and a half. Yeah, six and a half, a little less than six and a half, but just over three and a half. And I'm going to use some of, um, this is uh, Tracy Fox's from her Oddment kit, O-D-D-M-E-N-T. I've already cut the salvage off the sides. And this is her from her Silhouette kit. Now, in both cases, it's lovely and um, clear, but in both cases, I printed on default. I didn't print on highest quality. That's a good tip if you want to save ink. Uh, and I knew that this was more of a background, so I didn't need it to uh, print at its highest quality. If I printed at highest quality, these colors would be a little bit deeper uh, and uh, you'd see a little bit more color. That's all. But because they're both sort of shades of yellow ochre and sepia, um, I thought, you know what, I'll go on default, save some, save some ink. And uh, that way, um, I don't have to replace my ink as often, which is always a good thing. So let's just get right at it. I'm going to um, close my envelope and I'm using my art glitter glue. And I've got a gloober there. And I'll take that off. And so what I do is I'm going to glue closed, or I'm going to go glue closed one and not the other. So these are almost six and a half, so I'm going to cut it. Um, I'm going to do this a little bit different. I'm going to cut it at four and a half. Uh, rather than putting two, I'm just going to put one of these on as a flip. So I like the idea, like it'll flip from that side, uh, like so, and then I'll add my papers to it after I've already uh, glued this together. So, this does not have to be as wide as that for it to attach. So I'm just going to cut that off. How's everybody doing? I hope you're well. So my plan is to do a couple of bases and then we'll, we'll um, go from there in terms of decorating a little bit. So I'm just going to line it up like that and then fold it over. So, there we go. And that's our first base, and that's opening from that side. So, we'll do two more, uh, and then we'll, in order to do it at the other side, then we have to th I have to think about <laughs> where I'm cutting it from what end. So I want this to come from, instead of that side, I want it to come from this side. So I need to cut um, at the top of this. If I cut here and cut, let's say, two inches off, then it's going to hinge on that side. But if I do it this way, on that, then it'll hinge on this side. So I'm going to do the same at four and a half. And save those bits because you can, you could always use them. Um, so set it off to the side. Cut that a little bit. And then we'll just put some glue on here. I love playing with envelopes. Um, it's such, they're just easy to work with and uh, and and if you have some that are you know used envelopes that's even better uh, I don't get a lot of mail anymore I typically do most of my accounting and whatnot online sorry I just dropped a couple of flowers and pick those up they keep dropping all right so we have these um, and so the first thing I do is I tend to cover this. Now, is that going to be big enough? I think it is. Okay, so I want to take 
two pieces of this at four and a half. I'm going to use this silhouette on this one. I'll just set this aside a little bit. And maybe we can get a whole bunch done in this time. So four and a half. And then I'll use this one at four and a half on the other one. Like so. Okay. Just set this behind me. And what I find is the easiest way to approach, and I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. I find it easiest to approach it on the inside. So what I'm going to do is put my glue here, making sure I don't put any glue in that space because that will close my pocket. So I cut that at four and a half, which was how high this pocket is. So I'm just going to cover it, put my glue on, and then I'm going to put a line of glue up here. And then I'm going to take this and line it up with the bottom, but giving a little bit of space here. It's just tiny in the right here. So if you can see, there's a tiny bit of space there. And then I'm just going to go like that. And I know it's a lot of white, so apologies for that. And then I'm going to fold this over. Oh, look at that. Seriously, this was not pre <laughs> measured, but that's a perfect size. So that will go there. And then I'm just going to take my glue. And you could do glue stick for sure here. Just a second, my glue is deciding to come up a tiny bit. So put your glue once again, it's every now and again it just gets like that where it doesn't want to it doesn't want to play along, but there's enough glue there to glue down, which is great. So that's our pocket covered. And then this one we'll do the same way, only we'll start on the inside. I'm just going to do that, and then we're going to put some glue, sorry for all the glaring white. It's definitely still not happy. I did add more glue just before the video, so that might be part of the problem. So, there, that's better. So I'm just going to put glue on this surface again. Gosh, guys, did I ask if you're well? I hope you're well. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Appreciate your wonderful, supportive comments. Like super, you guys are super kind and generous to me. And then I fold it over, and that that's going to work out perfectly as well. Love that little image at the top there. It's been so long since I played with silhouette. That's what's kind of fun about going back into my stash. And um, when I say stash, I mean uh, my digital stash. My electronic stash. I don't, someone asked me if I keep my digitals, like do I uh, sort them a certain way or organize them a certain way. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> and the truth is I, I keep mine uh, electronically. I file them all electronically. I try not to have so many that, um, I try and only print what I think I'm going to need. Uh, and then what I don't use just goes into a pile, uh, just a catch-all pile uh, for digitals. But it's not that much. It's not enough that it's worthy of thinking about organizing them in a special way. 
So we've got two set like that. Um, not happy with this glue misbehaving, so I'm just going to keep that in there for now. And let's do, let's cover the front. And we don't, okay, um, yeah, you could cover the back if you think you're going to actually use it as a, um, if you think you're going to use it as, um, like as a flip, uh, then I would cover the back. But I'm not planning on using it as a flip, if you know what I'm saying. I'm going to just cut this, like so. I love seeing the bird there. Um, so I'm just going to cut that like so, and then I'm going to cover this with glue, and or attempt to, and then we'll, um, then from there, we will glue things, uh, trim things. So, it works well for a second and then it does not. So I'm just going to take a glue stick in the center here. And I have enough, I think I have enough glue down there on the bottom, but we'll see. Okay, so what I want is I want to stick this so that it matches the top and comes like so. Like that. And I can very easily just trim like this. And we can just glue that up. Now I like to fold it first so that it will, the glue doesn't get me, doesn't mess me up. Okay, I'm just gonna, we're gonna archive that for the moment. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put glue on here and on here. And we'll fold that over and we'll fold this over like that. And we've got super pretty. And then we'll, let's choose one for here. This one opens this way. And, oh, there's another bird. On the silhouette. There's so many lovely lovely things to choose from. So we'll just put some glue stick up here. Do I have a piece of scrap paper? I'm gonna grab a piece of cardstock as scrap paper because I can then I can still use it afterwards. So, um, so I'm just gonna glue stick up. This is a really nice juicy glue stick. Pick up that extra glue. And then I'm going to just try and do this. Actually having that card stuck there probably makes it easier for you to see too. I'm just going to do it like that. And I'm okay with it not going right to the top because we're going to cut the tops off anyway. The top of that off anyway. Um, course we'll use these pieces. These are all excellent. There we go. Excellent pieces for future projects for sure. You can see how that's curling. That doesn't happen when you use art glitter glue which is part of the reason I loved using art glitter glue. I didn't fold that up first. Um, but that's fine. It will lay flat and if it's it's not cooperating, then just put it under something heavy, like a heavy book or uh, that sort of thing. Okay, so there's that. And I love these. I love how cute and subtle they are. Now, how are we for time? Oh, good. Okay, we didn't use the oddments, but... Um, We'll use the oddment papers on a future project. Set this out of the way. Save my scraps because they're fabulous. Okay, 
Now, I'm going to cut the tops off these. And I want it to be straight. There we go. Lovely. And we'll do this one as well. Perfect. So remember the top is already open on the bottom pocket from where we cut it originally. Okay, so we have these two. Now you could you could add another pocket on the front if you want it. I'm trying to be more of a minimalist about some of these pockets. I tend to put um, we don't need probably half as many pockets as we put in sometimes. Um, so I'll let this pocket stand for itself without having too much added, without creating too much added bulk. So this is from Tracy's Bumper Florals. I think I started to cut it out in a previous video and it just didn't suit at the time. But there we go. Isn't that pretty? Like super pretty there. And let's see what else do we have. Some more of her bumper florals. Just gonna grab grab some of these beautiful papers and see what else we might want. Some gorgeous um oh here we go. These are nice. These are uh, more um, from the must be from the bumper, bumper birds, uh, and I like that actually something smaller. So maybe this would work out. Even though it's from bumper birds, it is a floral. So that's terrific. So we'll cut that out. You guys are really getting a glimpse on how I craft. Um, this is the way I do things. I just kind of have them on my table and be like, oh, it's like, uh, ooh, something sparkly. <laughs> I get distracted and I go in that direction. But isn't that pretty? Gosh, that's pretty. Now, oh, I think it's meant to go this way even better. Even better. Okay, I like that. Okay, great. Now, I wonder about, I've got some, some of this, um, some of these Italian papers that we've been playing with. Let's see, should we want something like that over here? Yeah, I think that would be nice. So we'll just set this aside and get my glue stick out since my our glitter glues in a in a mood having a mood. So we're gonna set that there. Like that. So this aside. And then we'll glue this on. Okay. I'm going to try and straighten the edge with the side. So pretty. My goodness, that is so pretty. All right, so we've got that one. And we're going to put this one here. And I'm going to set this one down first, and then I think I might have the uh, paper that we choose come over it a little bit. But I want to come right to this edge, down towards the bottom, like that. Love that. And I'm going to grab, what else do I have? I have some more blue. I also have this one. This is pretty. Do we want to do something like 
like that and then have it go over the side a little bit. I think so. Why not? Okay. Set this on. And like I said, I want it to come over the side a little bit. Like that. Just to create some interest there. There. Excellent. I love that. And why don't we, I'm just going to grab some washi. Um, oops, that's a butterfly that we were looking at in a previous. Why not put a little butterfly in here? Butterfly washi tape. To leave that open because I put too much glue in there. Just put the butterfly in there and maybe we'll put a butterfly in here as well. Or maybe we'll put two. Yeah, two will fit. So this time I'll do it the smart way. <laughs> And do it right on the uh, the glue itself, so that um, the washi will stay in place. Okay. So I'm going to set that right in here. Yeah. Just something fun to add in there, um, and then. Um, like I said, this one's still drying. And I think, what about, let's get a look. I have this washi, I'm trying to use a lot more rush washi. I have this one that has like little, uh, sweet little insects on it. And he could go there. And this little ladybug could go over here. So I'm just going to take off the straight edges. My fingers are super sticky right now. So I'm going to take off the straight edges. These are the little things that just add in more interest. And so there's our little ladybug on there. And then this guy. Take that edge off. What does it say? Insect bugs. So we're just going to run that on the on the glue and set it here. Kind of looks like the bird is eyeballing this insect. Sorry, the washi folded on itself, so I'm trying to straighten it out. There we go. Yeah, so you get two completely different looks just by handling it that way. So, I'm going to put this little divot in here. I guess it's still, it's fighting me because it's still a little bit sticky. This is the one that had the, uh, nope, I don't think it is. I'm just going to complete it with my scissors. Now, will it let me? Will it let me do the top? That's the question. I'm trying to line it up. I think it did a pretty good job. Good, good, good. And then we'll do the same here. Just put a little. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll do a little divot. Try and center it. It's easier if you do the one on the bottom first uh, because then you can line it up a little bit better. Um, it's hard to line up this, the one on the bottom after the first one's already been done. That I've learned from experience for sure. Okay, let's see how these are working. 
out. Let me see if I've got, got a couple of tags. Just a second. We keep using the tags that we used at the beginning, or I made in my first video. Um, let's do this. Let's turn this upside down so you don't see all the glue. Uh, so, this is what we have. So we have a, a tuck spot in here. Like that. And then there's a tuck spot up here as well. Really cute. Super easy to do. And then this one we can show you as well. Tuck spot up here. Like so. And the tuck spot back here. Whoops. There we go. That works out really well. Now, how would I use it in the journal? Let's just have a look and see. Sorry, I see that that's not on real tight. Okay. So, this is what we did last time. Let's see, how's it working? It's working really well. Really happy with that. Um, so what I would do probably is, because this is, I would just glue that. Sorry, goodness. I would just glue this. Let me take you a little bit. There we go. I would glue this right in, down this edge and down here. And then um, around two sides. And then you've got a tuck spot behind. You've got the pocket up here. And then you've got this flip as well. And you could add another little pocket if you wanted in there. But I think that's super pretty. And then you can do the same with this one as well. And that one just opens on a different side. Um, works well uh, when it's on that side on one of these sides. But it doesn't have to. You don't have to have it there. So that's it guys. That's another uh, little ephemera. This is a little envelope ephemera for our botanical journals or for any journal you might be making. Just change the theme of what you're using. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.